Welcome back to more Alley Wake walkthrough, uh, Alley Wake remaster for PlayStation 5. So, this is part two we doing, and last episode in my part one, uh, we went to fight some, we fight some bean, we fight some powerful bean. So guys, I'm so sorry this, so I didn't know if my game, we had to go way from here, because my game doesn't save you, so we are going to continue. We are gonna continue here and yeah yeah i'm so sorry guys so this is gonna be part several part two and yeah i'm so sorry i didn't know my game saved from there so so in the first play walk through we we died many times but i got him better i'm getting better with the game i'm getting better with the game now so yeah i'm getting better with the game too so i'm glad so in my first video, I explained you uh, how to wake you. So I think I remember in watching Rock Bad play through. I think one of a boss fight somewhere around here, uh, with the, the with that guy. Yeah, I think so. I think so. My game doesn't save guys, so I think we're gonna have a boss fight here. I really do like this game. I really do. So missing page. I think you have to find missing page or missing last stuff. We gotta find two, two missing three, one more, and uh, yeah, I'm just finding on the missing page. So yeah, I really like this game. Like the comeback, the comeback uh, dodging is like I don't care. So prepare, get some bullet. Roll up. Uh, they're gonna be a boss fight here. So I uh, remember in my video, in my second playthrough video, uh, did this thing called if you watch control and this happened in the control in control in the control of the game came out with you. Yeah? So it's like in the explain Ali Wake on uh, Ali Wake thing. I think Ali Wake too will take place in control too because. The fear. Night springs. Tonight's episode, a quantum I like this game. I really do. Can't wait for Wake 2, man. I should have played this game long time ago, you know. But back then, yeah, I didn't have Xbox 360 or PlayStation 3. So we are watching this. I'm going to watch this. Ladies and gentlemen of the press. Stucky, Colvin, stink, stucky. And I'm yeah. Glad so many of you could join me here at the Moorcock Institute tonight. I'm going uh, to give a practical yeah. demonstration of the. I, I don't have to watch this. As you can see, this is a loaded nine millimeter pistol. It's the same. Part of the same. Experiment. Same. Now, yeah, the Vidor. Uh, this is the where the 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 the, 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 the government building. Yeah. He's kidding, right? Please, please, stay calm. There is. No I'm watching this. <laughs> what occurs when I place the weapon against my own forehead? Now you might think this round is merely a dud. When I play Spider-Man, I wanna do more part of Spider-Man One. Spider yeah, part. Two. And yet, I myself. Cannot be harmed with this gun. With each pull of the trigger, two new realities branch off. One in which the weapon didn't fire, and one where it did. With my I have rumor I uh, recent what well, I didn't wake. Yeah, I was on the wake too. They came out like 2000, like 2008. I maybe they were, I think it's working on that game. Control. Under no circumstances can this gun kill me. Uh, so wait, wait, wait. What you're saying is that every time you pull the trigger. In another reality, you 
die? Yes, yes, of course. Oh yeah, because he didn't. Yeah. There's an infinite number of things that could happen at any moment, and they always do happen somewhere. The point is, this one thing. I think Stucky is gonna be the man. I think Stucky. I think gonna fist Stucky. Insane, insane. Hey, was this thing supposed to be plugged in? I stumbled on it. You fools, gaze upon quantum immortality. Ah, it's the same people that quantum brick. Yeah, it's the same people. Filled by his own hubris. Yeah, I think it's the same people make quantum break, quantum break, cause quantum break, yeah. Dash that. Ooh, dash that all in. Yes. Ooh. Stucky's body vanished, leaving behind only a lifetime of nightmares to come. Pick up some ammo, the lights, the gas some battery, pick up some stuff. Man, I'm gonna look around here, the more paper missing. All week is a good care. Uh, all in week, man. I'll just look around some paper. Look around. If I miss anything. I'm look around paper guys cause because yeah missing two like missing two and um, gas station T for the gas station and three we missing berry uh, yeah yeah I think it's the same people make quantum brick yeah that game is pretty good too Quantum Brick is pretty good game. And yeah, it's a good it's a good pretty game. Quantum Brick. It's the same people my con if you and and the guy the, the guy who play Bobby the Ice you Iceman. Yeah, he's yeah. So 
Let's get the fuck out of here. I don't think anything is here. Doctor, I, I know maybe all this is this is one fiction like it's his own world the writer I think quantum break on uh, quantum break on I recognized the parade float I had seen in bright Falls when I first arrived with Alice let's look on for missing paper. After the insanity I had just experienced in the darkness, the lights of the gas station felt comforting. At least for a moment, the sane world reasserted itself. Stucky. Stucky spat on the garage floor and tried to shake the cobwebs from his head. Ah, uh, this is okay. We find two more. The deer fest had been two weeks away when we arrived. If the day count on the banner was right, I was missing a whole week between the night we got here and now. What's this? Over there. The garage was a mess. It looked like someone had trashed the place, or that there'd been some kind of fight. I'll write. I'll keep writing. Outside, there's only darkness. Outside the cabin, outside the story, there's only darkness. I can feel her presence in the dark. Just now, I could smell her perfume in the room. I'll reach her. I'll fix it up. I'll be awake. The story will come true. If I stop, she's lost. I don't believe this. It'd been me on the TV, talking crazy. Was I losing my mind? September to 18. Game. Uh, I don't have to read all this stuff. Sheriff Station. Oh, thank God, Sheriff. Sheriff Sarah Breaker, you are... I'm Alan Wake, but listen, I was in a car crash. My wife, Alice, she's missing. Calm down, Mr. Wake. We were staying in a cabin on the island, on Cauldron Lake. There's no island on Cauldron Lake, not since the big eruption in the 70s. Please, I can take you there, okay? You look like you've taken a pretty bad knock to the head. Are you okay? Listen. We'll figure this out. Please get in the car. We'll swing by the lake and then we'll go to the station, okay? Mr. Wake, have you seen Stucky, the guy who owns this place? I realized I couldn't tell her what had happened in the forest. She wouldn't have believed me. And then she wouldn't have the helped game me with is, I think the game just started now. Um, it's like... Like the game is beginning, yeah. I didn't wake, so I think this is like beginning of the game, yeah. Nothing didn't happen. Only wake does writing this one book, yeah. Stucky, 
I really want to say that this game is so pretty good, man. I hear a lot of good stuff about this game. It came out on the PlayStation 3, on Xbox 360, and the DLC too. Yeah, never happened. None of this shit never happened. I don't want to ruin the yeah. I didn't wait to start in chapter one because chapter one. Hope I don't get any copyright for this, man. Just a sprinkle stardust and a whisper. And chapter one. And of chapter one. I close my Then I drift away. Previously on Alan Wake. I don't want to get any. I don't want to get any. I, to Bright Falls with my wife, I don't want to get any. Thank I don't want to get any copyright. <laughs> copyright, <laughs> y'all. So. I don't want to hear it. God damn don't want to get any copyright. Now, she's missing. Alice? I think it's not going to be like this in the second game. You know, because the second game, I'm going to be like control you or that shit, yo. And yeah. From a nightmare. The sheriff took me to the lake Alice and I had stayed at. But the cabin had disappeared. Such a good game, man. Only week is such a good game. Take one. Three years ago. Oh, this, oh, I remember this. So uh, this take place before when Only Wick went on vacation, and his wife Freddy on oh, his daughter, his wife scared of darkness. Oh yeah. Honey, I'm home. Okay, I did try to find some page. Oh yeah, it, it yeah, I did find I did want to find some page, but yeah. How was it? Worst weather I've ever seen. You should put some coffee on. It'll warm you up. Okay. Hey handsome. This is going to be a long night, but these shots are doing wife, I, Oh yeah, his wife is scared of darkness. Then. Yeah, she's uh, she doesn't like the darkness. What? I was chapter one called the darkness, you know? And I was chapter one called the darkness. Yeah, all in with wife doesn't like the... Coffee's on. Back in the days, sir. Uh, back in the days, sir. Uh, back in the in the back in the days, sir. Uh, and back in the days, like this is the type of game people play back in the days. Back in the days was game was not bulky. Game was you know back in the days was game was like you know. Oh hey, I just finished those cover mockups. They're on your desk. Tell me what you think. No kidding. I didn't think you'd get them done this quickly. On occasion, I can perform all sorts of miracles, my dear. Oh, really? Well, you seem to think so last night. Mm. Oh, maybe she's talking about... Oh, uh, God, so he was talking about the... Oh, I'm so, man. These look really good. Oh, sure, until Barry gets his hands on them. Which... By the way, will happen over my dead body. The last time was the last time. Oh, and speaking of Barry, he called. <gasps> Alan! Alan, please check the fuse box. I'm right here. I'm on it, honey. Please hurry. Oh. Honey, it's a power outage. I I've got the flashlight. Okay. Mm. Oh. Hi. You okay? I'm sorry. I just... It just really spooked me. Don't worry. We'll just break out the candles. I know it's stupid, but it's just... Especially oh yeah, his wife doesn't like you know? the darkness. It gets to me. Yeah, his wife it. doesn't like the darkness. Yeah. Story writer. The old, okay. the woman in the black. Yeah. I, I yeah. used to have these nightmares when I was a kid. The dark really spooked me too. When it got really bad, my mom gave me this old light switch. She called it the clicker. 
The clicker, huh? Yeah. If I ever got scared of the dark, I could just flip the switch and a magic light would scare the monsters away. Oh, sure. Here it is. Alan. Maybe it'll help you, too. <laughs> yeah, nice story, writer boy. You made that up right now, didn't you? No, no. <laughs> Seriously. I love you. Even if you are a liar. Thanks for this. Where's this? I'm in a fall. Present day. It's not a present day. How do you feel, Mr. Wake? Any nausea, disorientation, anything like that? Mr. Wake, how are you feeling? Stucky. I'm okay. My head's fine. I had to lie about my headache and memory loss. He'd send me to a hospital for tests. I couldn't leave without Alice. Hmm, very well. Um, I don't think you have a concussion, but you've obviously been through quite a shock. You should take it easy for a couple of days. Thanks. Well then, Mr. Wake, we're done here. If the pain gets any worse or you experience any other symptoms, you should come see me. I'll let you get on with it then. Sarah, uh, Sheriff Breaker, is waiting for you. She's very good at her job. I'm sure she can locate your wife in no time. Doc Nelson was the image of a small town doctor. Sheriff Breaker had called him to the station to take a look at the cut in my head. Lock it around. Missing person. I think these are the missing people. Come in, Mr. No, not, not yet, not yet, not yet. Wait, 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 wait. Let me ask you something. Mr. Wake, the sheriff is waiting for you in her office down the corridor. Yes, yes. Can't go in That was Cynthia Weaver. I guess you can call her the town eccentric. She used to be the editor of the local newspaper, but she's focused on um, other things these days. Mulligan here. I'm at Stucky's gas station with Thornton. There's no sign of him. Over. Wait, 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 wait. Yeah, this is Thornton. Look, we've located the parade float. It's here. That's some good news, right? Stucky was supposed to be driving it at the rehearsal today. Over. Oh, give me that. Mulligan here. Looks like someone really thrashed the garage. Over. Okay, roger that, guys. Keep looking for Stucky. Jane's out. The sheriff wants to see you in her office, Mr. Wake. You have any paper? You don't have any missing paper? Okay. Your phone, Mr. Wake? Mm. Let me see if you have any missing paper on here. Missing paper? Okay. Look at this. Have you started looking for my wife yet? Back in the laptop, bro. Back in the day, so back in the day, this laptop looked like a company sure. looked like I in the two, early 2000s. We Before I we have, the um, you know. The cabin on Cauldron Lake? How did you end up at Stucky's gas station? I wanted to tell her what had happened last night, but I couldn't. She'd lock me up. Excuse me. I need to take this. Hello? Alan, please help me. Alice? Stop talking to the law. You'll do exactly what I say if you ever want to see a wife. Who again. is this? Go to the back lot. There's a hole in the fence on the left. Look inside the junker. I left a little something there to convince you we're all on the same page here. After you ditch the cops, you're going to meet me in Elderwood National Park. There's a spot called Mr. Ray, can Beach. I help you with anything? Midnight. Don't do nothing stupid, pal. We're watching you. I need to get some air. The sheriff said I could go out back. Hey! Of hey, Mr. mister! Wake, you can get hey, can you turn the light? The light's on! The deputies, they won't... They don't understand. They won't listen to me. I... I need it to be bright in here! Thank you, man. Thank you. Hey. You're all right. You're a good guy. 
The early morning light hurt my eyes and made my head ache. The man on the phone had said, go through the fence on the left. Well, folks, it's been another long night, and uh, it's about time for me to sign off for a while. God knows I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> uh, just one more item before I go. It's been a busy night for the sheriff. Alice's driver's license had been placed on the front seat. The caller meant business. Barry? Ow! Ow! Thank God! Where the hell have you been? I've been trying to reach you for a week, you and Alice. I've been worried sick. I flew out yesterday. I'm here, here in Bright Falls. Barry, listen to me. I'm at the sheriff's station. Come and get me. I can't talk now. I had to get the sheriff to let me go. I needed to get to Elderwood National Park to meet Alice's kidnappers. I'm saying there's some paper on here. journey into the dark. Alice's life is at stake, but I can't think about that. Or I'll lose of perception. I'll push on. Anything is possible here. I'll write the story. I'll save her. Marvelous, Sarah. I just wanted to settle all the damage the Anderson brothers might have inadvertently caused. Are you feeling any better, Mr. Wake? I'd like to leave. Am I free to go? Well, we still need to talk about... Am I under arrest? No, of course not. But I need to know where you'll be staying so I can get in touch with you. I'd avoid the motel. The Majestic is known for its roaches. The cabins at Elderwood are pretty nice, though. That sounds perfect. I'm Dr. Emil Hartman. I'd like to invite you to stay at Cauldron Lake Lodge. Did you talk to my wife? I had the pleasure of discussing your situation with her on several occasions. Did you set something up with her? I invited her here. My clinic is a place where... Oh, doctor, come on, man. It's not like this. Hey, nobody move. Get your hands off of my client. Who are you? I'm Barry Wheeler, his agent. If you have oh, missing pages, Mr. Wake, sir. I know. Oh, we are going to find... I did find missing no pages. I sick my lawyers on your asses. No harm done, Sarah. I'm all right. I don't want to press charges, Mr. Wake. My offer still stands. Get me out of here. What the hell was that about, Al? We don't need a replay of that thing with the paparazzi. I thought they were gonna lock you up. <laughs> I had to talk to someone. I told Barry everything. He thought I was certifiable, but when he heard about the manuscript, I had him. 
The fact that I'd written something, even if I couldn't remember it, was enough for him. He smelled money, and he believed that Alice had been kidnapped. Anything beyond that was another story. I had a midnight appointment with the kidnapper in a place called Lover's Peak, somewhere in Elderwood National Park. The plan was to rent a cabin. I don't like it, Al. I don't like any of it. It's not good. In fact, it's the absolute opposite of good. Mr. Wake! Barry, you found him! Hi, Rose. Oh, wow. I was just thinking about you, too. Great. I was just bringing Rusty some coffee. He's on the balcony, looking after Max. Poor thing. I really need to go. Great to see you again, Mr. Wake. Later! <laughs> Who's Max? What an airhead. Jeez, mister takes a swing at everybody. This is not her fault. She's a very nice girl and, more importantly, a fan. One sec, she even has one a fan sec. site dedicated to you. Good to find missing paper. One sec, before we, yeah. I really like this game. I really do, really. Good talk to Barry. Seriously, Al, what you were saying in the car, just listen to yourself. What, you shot a guy and his body just disappeared? When was the last time you slept? What, are you high? Have you been drinking? <laughs> no. Look, Barry, I'm missing a week. And someone's got Alice. Do you and understand just... what it sounds like when you say stuff like that? Don't get me wrong. It's a good story. Could be a bestseller. But when you start confusing fiction with reality, you're buying yourself a ticket to the funny farm. Right, wait here. Funny farm. Easy there, boy. I'm almost done. Hey, Rusty, right? You rent cabins. Oh, Mr. Wake. I'd shake your hand, but mine are kind of full here. Actually, I'm sorry about this. Would you mind grabbing the registration form from the desk? It's just across from Bucktooth Charlie. Okay, sure. What happened? Crazy poachers. Max here got his foot caught in a trap. They're illegal to use here. Hell, you're not supposed to hunt within the park at all. But that doesn't stop some low life. Somebody shot a dog. Yeah, that's kind of fucked up. Max is gonna be okay. He got lucky. Max is still groggy from the shot I gave him, and I'd rather not leave him alone just yet. The form's on the desk across from the mammoth skeleton. <laughs> Okay, boy. Al, We're they can't done just here. go and meet a kidnapper. Those situations always end up in disaster. You gotta talk to the cops. She's my wife, and it's my call. Can we talk about this later? No. This whole thing it Listen, you hit your head. I mean, geez, Al, come on. You gotta understand how crazy all this sounds. If you're trying to pull a joke on me, freak me out, it's working. Ha ha, let's have a laugh on Barry. Well, you had me going there real funny, Al. You can quit it now. I think this is the form you wanted. And here are the keys. Okay, you're all set, Mr. Wake. Glad to have you staying here. Thanks. Can you tell me how to get to Lover's Peak? Oh, sure. It's at the end of the nature trail. Just follow the paths, you'll get to it eventually. It's an easy walk. Nice spot, too. If you have any trouble finding it, just keep your eyes on the radio mast. It's right below that. Look! You're asking me to believe that you oh shot my God, a dude man, who went shot up. into thin air, a guy who was bulletproof until you pointed a flashlight at him. You hear that from people who end up spending time in padded rooms, strapped to their beds, wearing white shirts with two long tangled up sleeves, and eating a healthy diet of pills. Al, you make cruel jokes about people who believe that kind of stuff. You're the skeptic. 
You gave me an oh alcohol my god. Okay, okay. Shut up, man. It? If there's no proof, it's pure bullshit. Period. Guess the laugh's on me then. Oh, come on. I mean, okay, I okay. have to go. Okay, maybe something weird happened to you, okay? Okay, I have to well, go. Thanks for the heartfelt vote of confidence. All I'm saying is, you gotta throw me a bone here, bestseller. That's just crazy talk, Al. Al. Al? We should go to the sheriff or call the FBI. Damn it, Barry, they'll kill her. This is not a goddamn debate, <gasps> Barry. I'm going to Lover's Peak. He said to come alone. Okay, okay then. I understand. But you're my best friend, and I'm worried that you're not right in the head. Tell me what to do to help, and I'll do it. You stay here, and if I'm not back by morning, call the cavalry. Achoo! Achoo! God. Okay, guys, going to end this part for another episode. And we, we are going to end this part, guys. And I hope you like this gameplay. Uh, we made the one to lover. So next episode, we're going to um, meet, go to episode episode 2, episode 3. So episode 2, we went to uh, an early flashback with his wife and all that stuff here. So I hope you guys enjoy this gameplay. I go by Maddie Gamer, like and subscribe. And hope you guys enjoy the main story. And, and have a good night.